Well, they say things happen fast in racing. Ever heard that phrase? <laughs> well, folks, Low Budget TV has made it back. We just set up a bunch of wall cameras. I don't even know. Tommy might be running on the racetrack. Nope, I found him. Woo, doggy! Well, I'm out of breath. How about you guys? After that good start to the heat race, is really, I can report that the first few laps there that you guys were enjoying turns three and four, nothing major happened. We obviously saw the one incident that happened in this race. Cars that started up front are still up front, so they were nice to us in that sense. Hi, Tommy. Hi there. A heck of a heat race there with only one lap left again. So we'll get this thing going. Welcome to January 18th at Arizona Speedway. Here we go for the restart for the first heat race of the night. The dwarf card, green and white flag. And a battle for the lead at the start. A nice slide job in one and two. The number 90 gets into the lead. He's got to hold on to win it. And your winner, the number 90. And that's a roundup. We're getting our feet, we're getting our pages in. We, uh, we aren't sure if the track jumped to start or if we were late to it. <laughs> well, you said the promoter was like, oops, sorry. <laughs> And, uh, I got my workout just now. I just ran off Golden Crow. Yeah, we did. From yesterday. So up next is the IMCA modified heat race, number one. Good job. So we... So, getting ready for the next heat race on tap. IMCA modified, getting ready to go. And some early contact. Remember, top two cars transfer to the A main event. IMCA modified, low budget TV here at Arizona Speedway. Teamed up with Xan and watching some contact. Driver moving into the second spot. That's the 75 of Spencer Wilson, defending race winner from last year. However, last night didn't go quite as planned for him. Got involved in a very early wreck and somehow still found his way up into the top five by the end of it. But a lot of drivers looking to make their way into the top two, into the A main event. That's Meckle taking the high line in the 71. Caution now for a car that's spinning out over in turn number two. Looking for the restart, Spencer Wilson, our leader. And that 75 machine. See what he's going to be able to do. Green flag in the air. And one car going to go around right on the start. 360, and we're going to keep it on. Almost going. Caution flag out once more in this year.
after a wild start to this heat race. Looks like things are calming down just enough, so we're going to be able to continue on. Just the first heat race for the IMCA Modifieds. And this track of 3 eighths oval. Checkered flag, it's coming out for Wilson, so he's gonna start off much better than he did last night. Gonna be part of that redraw. All the top two cars that make it into the A main after heats. Getting ready for heat race number two for the IMCA Modifieds. Last night's winner starting on the pole. show and generally one night's going to be the clean one and one's going to be the wild one. Last night was wild but it was clean. <laughs> Battle for the second spot, the 90. Slips up the track, allows the 56 of Uptain to get into the second spot. White flag is out. And there are battles all throughout the field. Look back here, 29 and the 82, Frank Gore and Just like last night's main event winner, tonight's heat race number two belongs to Marilyn Seidler. So we're going to see some familiar faces up top in that main event, it looks like. And a little bit of a drag race to finish it off. Getting ready for heat race number three. That's Jeff Shepard in the 13 machine starting on the pole. It is outside the 65 of Shelby Fry. Throw it through, turns one and two. Drop it to the second position, Zane DeVilbis. Saw him fight his way after wrecking last night in the main event. Got all the way back up to the second spot. You see Fry right now in the 65 machine having some smoke flying from the back of that machine. Tommy, that 65 car had some problems last night. Yeah, it did, and it looks like tonight's not gonna be any better for him. You can smell some oil burning. in the 4TW, that's Tim Ward. Fourth spot, the number one machine. Up for the lead. Develops to the inside. I, I'm sorry, I uh, called it wrong. 65 is Tim Palmer. Velvis with a driver who surprised us and drove his way through the field last night. Yeah, literally, we were questioning if he was on the lead lap. That's how much of a comeback he had. He's looking for the lead right now. He's in that transfer spot in the second position, but Ward is right on their heels trying to chase them down. And we know 
know that Ward was battling for the lead last night in the main event as well. Very true. So we're going to see possibly three cars duking it out for the lead here in a lap or so. The smoking 65 of Palmer. He's pulled it off the track. The battle for the lead continues. Here comes Ward. About two car lengths away from this battle. One to go. Here he comes. He's right in the shadows of your leaders. I meant to say one car length away. Underneath of Shepard, Shepard still holding strong in that outside line, but DeVilvis is going to take it out of turn number four. And now it's Ward's turn to deal with Shepard. At Tommy drivers have different ways of getting past drivers, some like the clean route. So far, some good clean racing between all the drivers up front. Ward, though, on the inside, Shepard fighting for a spot in the main event. He's going to lose it right now into turn number one. White flag left. Things are turning like butter. I have no idea what I mean by that. Out of turn number four, DeVilvis is going to grab the checkered flag, and Ward is going to hold on to the transfer spot. And then you have Iron Man. The 198 of Cody Miller. You know, we might see some train racing here tonight. In this heat race, number Four for the IMC Modifieds. Don Irvin in the number one X will lead the field to the green. Green flag flies the 13 of Gene Freeman. 62 Hunter Marriott. The 4 AC John Morris Jr. Mike Whittlestad in the 77 and rounding out the field the 19 SB Lance Green. Actually, I lied. We've got one more. Mike Strobel in the X04. Irvin out to early lead. Got about three, four car lanes between first and second. Yeah, not wasting any time in that one X machine. Hunter Marriott, he was leading last night halfway through this race, and a tire went down. Tire went down, he brought out a caution, I believe. And his race is over, not able to get that car. It was just not enough laps for him to worry about replacing a tire. He's duking it out for the third spot with the 77 of Whittlestad. And lucky 13 you see right here. Gene Freeman started on the outside of the front row. He slips back. That car not handling. We saw it last night, Jeffrey. The front end of these modified were pushing quite a bit out of the corner. Yeah, it, it seemed like overdriving these turns is a little bit more dramatic than most tracks we've ever been to. Here, you drive them, you're just going to keep sliding. And it might, it might just be the track surface, the, but they, we were hearing that a lot of the drivers were raving about how good the racing surface was yeah, last night. Everybody was loving on this track surface, so I think they just took a page from last night and continued on with that track prep. Your leader, Don Irvin, checking right out here. He's checking out. He's extending his lead over the 4AZ of John Morris Jr. Weddlestad in third. Hunter Marriott in fourth. 19SB in fifth. Lance Marine. White flag is flying for Don Irvin, the number one X. So you can see these cars, some have it and some don't. Yeah, and this uh, this heat race kind of spread itself out. Definitely the tamest one we've seen so far tonight. Out of turn number four, Don Irvin leads it flag to flag in this heat race. Number four for the IMCA Modifieds. So he's going to pick up. And like we said, for everyone joining us tonight, thank you for joining us. Of course. Uh, Tommy. Mason joining me. I'm Jeffrey Best. Uh, we're Low Budget TV joining XAN here tonight, teaming up. And uh, we'll be working with everything uh, to give you the best possible show we can tonight. Is that right, Tommy? That's right. And uh, the interaction might be at a limit here tonight on our Facebook. But what? We'll see what we can do. What? Green flag is in the air. Pure stock race in the 5Z Zachary Madrid. Jumping to the early lead, the 23 gonna follow him through. That's Chuck Gronke. And then a three-car tight battle that includes drivers who were battling for the lead last night, including one of the drivers who came home the victor, the 47 machine of Darren Olney. And the 78 machine.
machine to his outside, the Kevin Parker machine. Then in fifth place, the 13, driven by Glenn Hokinson. Got also the 17 of Harlan Moorhart and the 70 machine of Danielle Meckel, the older sister of the driver who finished third place last night in the IMCA Modifieds. And we see that a lot, Tommy, wherever we go. A lot of family. It's a big family atmosphere, this hat track. Absolutely. You know, that, and that's what's fun about it is uh, for the veterans in the grandstands, the loyal fans of any racetrack, they literally get to see generations of racers racing all across the country. Yeah, very cool to see another single file heat race right now. But again, last night's main event for these guys was far from single file. And we might actually in the next heat race see a little bit of a surprise. A driver we weren't expecting to see last night. Or tonight, I should say. Only in the number 47, closing in, starting to reel in your leader. Yeah, Madrid in that five machine trying to hold him off. And then behind them, Parker in the 78 machine was duking it out with the 23 of Gronke. Now Parker's pulled away from that battle. I love these pure socks, man. They had a great heat race last night and an exciting main event. Last night we were asking the, the viewers, of course, going back and forth with our Facebook page, Low Budget TV on Facebook. You can join us on there. Like Tommy mentioned, we're going to aim to do as much interaction as we can tonight. We love interacting with you fans. You guys were great last night. Had a lot of fun. And we were finding out that a lot of you, favorite division, IMCA Modifieds, we had to agree last night. We were forced to actually. They made us. They, yeah. But rightfully so. Oh yeah. I mean, now all of these viewers, I'm sure they saw the uh, highlights all over Facebook. They were all like, media. "Told you so." Well, out of turn number four, it's going to be Zachary Madrid in the 5Z machine taking the win. That 5Z car looking good. And Tommy, I don't recall that car from last night. I was going to say, I don't re recognize it either. And that's a good looking race piece. And it's looking fast. Held off last night's winner. Only had kind of a funny story. He was saying, well, yeah, I won the race tonight, so I could race tomorrow night. And so he's here. Now he's got another night to do, too. Two locations now. He's up on the hill in Kearney and also downtown Apache Junction. Rip Snappa. Check them out. So the second heat race is going to be coming on out. We're going to be ready for it. I mentioned how last night this track moves fast. This track could be a race car. Next heat race already coming on out. And Tommy talked a little bit about the driver. We're surprised to see out here tonight. Yeah, this driver wasn't supposed to be here, and I still don't think he is really supposed to be here. He has an appointment, he was told yesterday, the number 33 wide, David Jones, starting on the pole, the number 76, Justin Heron, Nick. Hang on. Nick now we're missing one card. Wackelowick. Nick Wackelowick in the number nine. Mark, Mark Matson in the 46. Jake Cruz in the 18. 42 Ian Smeltzer. Uh huh. Are the drivers I have on my sheet? Yeah, we have six cars on the sheet and five of them started, so. We're missing somebody. We definitely are missing. The eight, whoa, out of turn number four, the 46 gets sideways. 18 of Jake Cruz is a driver we are missing. We saw him pulling in. Yeah, so we know that car's here. Not, maybe not able to get it fired up. The nine slipped up the track. Nick Wackelick. Well, Rockwell got a little high coming up turn number two. 76 off to the early lead here. Keeping an eye on this battle for fourth. You like watching the battles, Tommy. It doesn't matter where they are. Yeah, absolutely. Ian Smeltzer and the number 42 machine holding his spot as they run over Mark Maxson and his number 
46 orange machine. And it looks like everybody's running pretty equal out here. I don't see anybody making any time on anybody. And no one losing the pack either. Absolutely. The 42 has one word on his cards, Viper. <laughs> well, it was a Dodge Viper when it showed up here earlier today, and they had to make some weight, and so they had to cut it. And uh, funny enough, it looks just like a Camaro. Battle for the lead crew enough. I would have never thought a Dodge Viper would look like a Camaro. You take the headlights out. Yeah, it makes a world of a difference. Can the 33Y of David Jones make a move around Justin Hare? White flag is out. Last lap to do so. And one car, I believe, got around the 46 machine, lost the pack. If I remember correctly, these two made it a fun heat race last night. And they're doing it again here on the final lap. And to turn number three, Jones has to get on the hammer. Out of turn number four across the line, it'll be the 76 of Justin Hara holding off the hard-charging David Jones. And Tommy, we talked a little bit about the draft, but I think we haven't really put it in enough. You can see the 46 car just got about two car lengths back, and, I mean, it's, it's more important here drafting than it is even at Talladega. Yeah, these three eight miles, they are, you can't take a break at all. No, and I mean, just look at the aerodynamics of some of these cars. I mean, it, it's, it's written. That's beautiful. These things are precision machines. Maybe he has a Viper car alarm. Getting ready for the X mods, Sport mods, B mods. Getting ready for their first heat race here tonight. Final night of racing here at Arizona Speedway over this two-day show. The Snowbird Classic. It's been a yeah, it has been a very wild start to the night, so we're just going to keep an eye on how much wilder everything can get. X mods tend to tend to get a little crazy out there. Starting. Well, let's go green flag. It's crazy at the start. Your leaders bouncing off each other. Yeah. And turn number one, some and payback. Still bouncing off each other. That was a 51 of David Farley. Three wide out of turn number two in the battle for third and jumping to the early lead. Is that number two machine of Jason George. Battle for second now, the 7G to the inside of Farley. The 7G driven by Dennis Gates. Gates started in the last row of this heat race already, working his way into a transfer spot. A 7G machine looking on fire tonight. But following him, the C11 of Chris Caldwell. Oh, trouble looks like for Farley. Yeah, we might have a tire down from the start of this race. That, you hear it though, so popping. But I believe that could be a tire. And then the 223 machine working past Caldwell right now. That would be Cole Peterson. Cole was another driver that had a late arrival. We were walking through the pits around 4.30 and he just pulled in. I think it might be something under the hood that's wrong with Farley's machine. Battle down in the back straight away, you're looking at the battle for fourth. It's Caldwell trying to hold off the 22. Caldwell getting some pressure. Getting some pressure from Robert in the 22. Yeah. Burmeister had some uh, damage to repair after last night. Robert's car might be losing a tire. That car is all over the track. Yeah, we're taking a look at this. Workmeister, it looks like something in the suspension. Yeah, might, it looks like a left rear flat. Well, rounding up this field, Eric Shaw closing in on these drivers. Is it a is it a missing shock or a flat tire? It might be a right rear, actually. Because the tires are still up on that machine. That for <laughs> second, starting to warm up. But the two cars in this heat race that just aren't driving right are racing it out. Got a card in his spoke. Oh, trouble over in the turn. It looked like the 223 just got around. Really not a lot of contact, but there was a little bit of strange looking contact. The 223, Peterson getting collected with the C11 of Caldwell. Caldwell's gonna be the driver who's gonna have the worst end of the stick here. And the caution did not come out. The number two machine gonna cross the line. Jason George into the A main. Or excuse me, these drivers don't have to worry about that. The, this is gonna be a 
wild night. This is gonna, it's all these drivers do make it in the A main event. It's shaping out to be a wild night of racing here tonight. X Mod's gone wild. Yes. Heat race number two for the X Mods. It'll be the 57 CT Chris Toth starting on the inside. The front row, the 81 Ray Shumai. 44 inside row number two, Eric Weinmiller. The number two familiar face last night, your winner in the main events, Nolan Morrow. 20 AZ Chuck Black, 26 Trevor Miller, 28 Jim Skagg starting on inside row number four, and the 88C Austin Ruskoff. And green flag is out. It got interesting in the last x -Mod heat race. Cars falling out. Cars making contact. Retaliations. Let's see how this one goes. Yeah, that was a busy heat race, wasn't it? Toth out to an early lead through turns number three and four. Lead slap number one. Battle for the second spot. Shumai up in to the second spot by holding off the number 44 of Wine Miller. And, you know, Toth is kind of picking up right where he left off last night. Didn't win the race, but he was a factor in the battle for the lead all night long. Very true. Battle for the second spot still continuing on. Wine Miller gets the spot back from Shumai. From a lap ago, and it looks like Wine Miller is going to stay there. And oh. turn number two, the 20 around. Ruskoff taking a shortcut. <laughs> I was going to say, Ruskoff, he made sure he, he took a detour contact. to get around that one. Chuck Black looped it over in turn number two, bringing out the first caution of this heat race, number two of the X Mods. Do you think Wine Miller has anything for Toth? Yeah, you think so? You're good. Because I tell you what, Chris Toth wasted no time. I'd say there's a 50 50 chance that he has something for Toth. He either does or he doesn't. Okay. All right. Race in the, uh, pure stock You're a camp. I am. In I am. Those, uh, in that, those and uh, guys, been racing, uh, going around, going fast. Be a part of Getting the ready to go. Heat well, race number two restart. Toth takes a green flag, and can he hold off Wine Miller? Gotta say, last night's winner right now, Morrow, really taking it easy in this heat race. Back in the fifth position, that number two machine that we saw take victory last night. The 57 CT of Toth. He is starting to extend his lead over the 44 of Wine Miller. Shumai in the third spot, 26 in fourth. Trevor Miller, fifth in the number two of Morrow. Toth's going to slip up a little bit out of turn number four. Wine Miller to the inside. And some contact heading into turn number one. We have a battle on our hands. Wine Miller makes the best of it and goes into the lead through turns number one and two. The 26 of Trevor Miller makes a move to the inside of Shumai's number 81 machine. He goes into the third spot. So the 50% that you thought... I guess you were right either way. I don't like it that way. I just like to cover my bases. That's true. Well, the final heat race of the night. Again, thank you all for joining us here at Arizona Speedway. Shumai slipping up in the 81 out of turn number two. Losing the spot tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. He'll lose the spot. He lost the spot on Monday. White flag in the air for Wine Miller. Down the back straight away he goes. Made the best out of a bobble from your leader, Chris Toss, at the time. Out of turn number four, Eric Wine Miller takes the checkered flag in the second X Mon Heat race. Our heat race action, day number two of the Snowbird Classic here 